That's why these children do not fit into any diagnostic box neatly. Because we're missing one condition, underlying condition that is causing all these problems. And depending on the genetic makeup of the child, depending on the environment that the child grows up in, and various other factors, this condition can manifest itself in different children in different groups of symptoms. One child may be more hyperactive, another child more dyslexic, another child more dyspraxic, another child will be diagnosed autistic. Because dyslexic children, for example, are not just children who can't read and write. They have social problems. They have problems with self-help skills. They have gross motor skill problems. They have fine motor skill problems. And they have some autistic features and they have some hyperactivity, these children. So if you touch every child, if you look at every child, they have a little bit of everything. And if you examine their physical state, you will find compromised immunity with various allergies, asthma, eczema, hay fever, and other allergic problems. And you would find various other problems which unite these children together.